notably, this is the second year in a row that U.S. domestic politics earned the top slot on this global risk report. Uh, in fact, you write, when the most powerful country is uh, so divided, everybody has a problem. So what does this say uh, about where things stand for the U.S. and its global position in this threshold moment? Can lead. The world needs leadership, uh, especially in a major crisis, and the United States is in no position to provide it either on global trade. We've had the largest trade deals in history signed in the past weeks, RCEP, as well as a new deal between the Chinese and the Europeans. The Americans are no part of it. Couldn't get a big new trade deal if we wanted to. Um, the United States is going to be leaving Afghanistan. Failed war, longest war of American history. You know, I saw Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, was criticizing Myanmar and the Cote d'Ivoire for irregularities in their election. You kidding me? The United States has no ability to tell other countries uh, how they should run their elections. The average American doesn't believe that democracy even works for Americans, never mind telling other countries how it should work. So look, we are still the most powerful country in the world. And frankly, it's not that close. But America's ability to lead, America's desire to lead, when the United States is not only the most powerful country, but is also by far the most economically unequal of all of the world's advanced industrial democracies. The United States is by far the most politically divided of all of the world's advanced industrial democracies. In a time of crisis, when you desperately need the new president to come in and get stuff done, I don't, you don't need to understand just how dysfunctional that is. And a final point I would make, just in the last 24 hours, a one hour plus taped phone call of President Trump telling the Georgia Secretary of State that he won the election and the Secretary of State has to overturn it. Lying about that and using the pressure of the presidency, 10 secretaries of defense, everyone that is still alive, writing an op-ed saying, and, and Dick Cheney taking the lead on this, who thought he'd be a member of the resistance, saying that, th that Biden won the election and the military can't intervene. None of us have seen anything like this in the United States in our lives. There's a reason this is unprecedented. It is structural and Trump is making it worse, but so are so many things that have been happening in the United States for decades now. And this is not the time to have this kind of a crisis, hence, that's risk number one.